السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس پارٹیکل ان ون ڈائمنشنل باکس دس از دا انفائنائٹ پوٹینشیل باکس اینڈ واٹ از انفائنائٹ پوٹینشیل باکس دا دا پوٹینشیل ویل ویئر وی اپلائی انفائنائٹ پوٹینشیل آن دا وال دس از کال انفائنائٹ پوٹینشیل ویل تو ہیئر از دا آن دا وال پوٹینشیل از انفائنائٹ وی از ایکول ٹو انفائنائٹ اینڈ ان سائڈ دا پوٹینشیل وی از ایکول ٹو زیرو and we have two boundary conditions at the walls first wall, first x is equal to 0 and this at this boundary condition wave function is all to is equal to 0 because particle is restricted to move only inside the well he is not allowed to move outside the box because we have infinite potential well and particle has not has never ever put an energy of infinite so particle will remain inside the potential well because if a particle want to escape the well he should have infinite energy and we know that no particle can have infinite energy so in case of infinite potential well particle will remain inside the put inside the well and on the walls wave function is zero because particle is restricted to move only inside the well he cannot escape so second condition is x is equal to l and wave function is also equal to zero so consider a particle that is constrained to move only in x direction for simplicity we have considered only one dimension which is x direction from x is equal to zero to x is equal to one so whenever we want to calculate the wave function we we should have to know schrodinger wave equation because schrodinger wave equation is the base of quantum mechanics so according to schrodinger wave equation hamiltonian psi is equal to e psi i put the value of hamiltonian minus h square divided by 8 pi square m d square psi divided by dx square plus b this is the value of hamilton hamiltonian so we have put this value and now multiply throughout the term by 8 pi square and divided by h square so then we get d square psi divided by dx square plus 8 pi square and divided by h square e minus v psi is equal to 0 now we have apply the boundary condition we have first boundary condition v is equal to infinite if v is equal to infinite then we know that v is equal to zero because outside the well potential is zero no 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 sorry when v is equal to infinity then v is equal to zero because particle will remain inside the potential well and we know that inside the potential well v is equal to zero so we have put v is equal to z zero and this whole term becomes zero because at infinite potential the wave function is zero because when potential is infinite particle has zero probability and when particle has zero probability then wave function is zero so the at v is equal to infinite the whole term becomes zero and when v is equal to zero then we get uh, d square psi divided by dx square plus 8 pi square m divided by square e psi is equal to zero so we have uh, let uh, this uh, 8 pi square m divided by square e is equal to k square we have made this uh, because uh, we want uh, this equation in simple form in general form of differential equation so if uh, we make this uh, simplified uh, differential equation then we can easily solve so we have put k square in place of 8 pi square m divided by square e so we get d square psi divided by dx square plus k square psi is equal to 0 this is this uh, this is the second order differential equation and we know that the solution of uh, second order differential equation is uh, psi x is equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx so when we now we have to calculate the value of constant a and b 
so for this uh, we should apply the boundary conditions we have two boundary conditions first we apply the first boundary condition when x is equal to 0 and we know that uh, at the walls put as say by a wave function is equal to 0 so at x is equal to 0 psi x psi should also it will equal to 0 so by putting the values we get b is equal to 0 because sin 0 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so we get b is equal to 0 now we apply second equation boundary apply condition x is equal to l so at x is equal to l wave function is also equal to 0 so the general uh, this is the solution since b is equal to 0 so b cos x b cos k x term becomes eliminated and uh, because the d, b is equal to 0 so we have only psi x is equal to a sin k x this one and psi is equal to 0 we have put this uh, and equal to say a sin k l so we got this k l is equal to n pi and uh, because n is the number of 1, 2, 3 and so on so k becomes equal to n pi divided by l and we have taken square then we get the k square is equal to n square pi square divided by l square compare this value with the k square is equal to 2 m e divided by h bar square so when we compare we get n square pi square divided by l square is equal to 2 m e divided by h bar square and we know that h bar square is equal to h square h over 2 pi since we have square so we get h bar square is equal to h square divided by 4 pi square put this value and by cutting and simplifying we get e is equal to n square h square divided by 8 ml square where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 this shows that the energy is quantized so in infinite potential well the energy is quantized quantized means energy vary in a discrete manner in a continuous manner so when energy can vary in a continuous manner then we say that energy is quantized the difference is always equal will, will be same so now we have to calculate the value of constant A for this uh, we apply normalized condition so normalized condition what is normalized, normalized condition integration 0 to L psi square dx is equal to 0 Normal, when we normalize the wave function then it means that the probability is equal to 1 so we apply normalization condition so wave function is equal to a sin n pi l x we have put this value and apply the formula sin square n pi l x is equal to 1 minus cos 2 n pi x divided by l and hold the term that divided by 2 so we get 1 minus cos 2 n pi x divided by l so we integrate this value then we get this value a square is equal to 2 over l so put this value in the wave function then we get side x is equal to 2 over l sin n pi l x is equal to n pi x divided by l so we have got the wave function in case of infinite potential well and the loss definition is zero point energy the electron is not at rest even it has at zero Kelvin temperature if uh, there is electron at zero Kelvin temperature we cannot say that its energy is zero because this, if uh, the energy of the particle is zero then it becomes at rest and when particle becomes at rest then we can tell its exact position and in quantum mechanics according to Heisenberg and Sensitivity principle says that we cannot tell the position of quantum particle electron proton exact position at any moment so if particle becomes at rest then it violates the quantum theory so in quantum mechanics the particle the minimum energy of particle can never be zero so i hope so you understand your 
concepts and uh, you have cleared your doubts if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon like and also please comment the in the comment section thank you very much